And Jugal is tracking uh, the developments in this story very closely. Jugal, uh, how are the investigations placed currently? Are there any specific leads that have been zeroed in on by the investigation team so far? Well, Urushi, we are aware that at least on two tracks, the police is moving swiftly forward. The first one being uh, what has been brought to our light by our colleague Kashif Khosro. He said that the police right now has confirmed to Times now that they've got the security cameras working and they, those security cameras have captured the blasts which have taken place at the Bal Gandharv area, that is where the first blast took place. Apart from that, where I am standing right now and what the area that the camera person is showing to you, this is the area where the only injured person in the blast is staying. This is the place where he used to stay as a temporary person on rented accommodation along with his wife and a daughter and a niece. We spoke to the police as well as the ATS, which has at least for now detained his wife. They are telling us that this is all a part of their routine procedure and that there is nothing more to it apart from ascertaining the antecedents of these people who are staying here on rent do not belong to this area. However, we are aware that the person who has been injured in this blast did not get injured in a very normal way. Police has confirmed to us that he was carrying a bag which contained the crude device, the crude explosive. So in that sense, there is a shadow of of suspicion over that particular person however having said that I spoke to his neighbors I met his niece I met a lot of people whom he used to know and the, and the feeling that I got from there was that here is a man who used to live here on rent and would only his his life would only revolve around his daughter and his work from where he would leave early morning and return only pretty late at night his neighbors also said that he was not somebody who they thought could be involved in any of the nefarious activities which are being perhaps alleged or being investigated by the police as of now so that is what we have right now on one hand the police proceeding swiftly on the leads that they've got from the two security cameras at the Bal Gandharv Mandir area which have been act which have actually captured the actual blasts which took place yesterday around 7:30 and apart from that they're also detaining and questioning the only person who's been injured in the entire 6 to 7 blasts which rocked Pune last evening Urvashi